Hello, hello. So I'm 11 weeks postpartum. My baby is having an afternoon nap. Literally the night before going into labor, I packed my hospital bag. And I found there were so many videos about packing your hospital bag and there's just so much that you just don't need. So what I've done is I've edited my video, but I've got rid of all the stuff that I didn't actually use. I hope you find it really useful and good luck with your bath. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my nursery. I'm gonna do a proper tour when things are a bit more in place because it's just a bit messy right now. Anyway, I thought it'd be really nice to do a what's in my hospital bag while I pack it because it will be the only way it will make me actually finish it. Um, and I'm gonna do it in categories. I'm gonna make it really quick because no one wants to watch a really drawn out video. So I'm gonna do it in categories. And of course, the things I've got are vegan and cruelty free. There's only a few things that would really matter about that. Okay, so the first category is clothes for myself. A really comfy outfit that I'm probably gonna come back from hospital in. This is a really beautiful um, tracksuit, which is really fluffy. This is from Chelsea Piers. It's quite baggy, it's really comfy. And yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna want when I come out of the hospital. I've got three maternity bras, each of which are easy to milk with. I'm really hoping I can breastfeed. And um, these ones are from m &S. This is from La Redoute. So everyone took, oh, I've got really bad pains. Is this the beginning? <laughs> That'd be great. I'm due tomorrow um, and I'm really, really hoping that it's really interesting, they're getting quite intense. And um, people talk a lot about the outfit that you'd be giving birth in, but I feel like I'll be quite hot. So I like the idea of more of a dress with arms out. This kind of thing, this was from Amazon. It has these little latches, so you can breastfeed in it as well. I got some just big baggy pants. They're from Amazon as well. I've got some super big, fluffy, comfy socks. I can't seem to find my slippers anywhere, but I'm definitely packing them. Okay, in my wash bag, I've got this beautiful Scarlet Elizabeth bag that my bestie, Sean, bought for me. Shampoos, these are from Maria Nila, they do minis. One of my favorite cleansers, this is the Body Shop Cleansing Balm. Flannel, also Lion's Leaf uh, Beauty Balm. Face wash, this one is the Smoothing Cleanser. Body wash, the Rinse and Repeat by Tropic. And then in terms of my care after the birth and funny care, I have some adult nappies, huge panty liners. These apparently are fantastic. I think you snap them, fold in half, and they become really cold, so just to cool down your fanny. I've got a TENS machine. I've got spritz for bits. There's not been one mum that's not told me to get this. So moving on to things for the baby. I've got a little bag of mini nappies. These are the kit and kin ones with the cute little patterns. So these are for newborns, number one. I've also got some baby wipes. These ones are also kit and kin. I absolutely love this brand. I've got a few baby grows. Because of the time of year, I've been told it's really important to have vests, so just a plain vest that would go underneath whatever they're wearing. And also a few little hats, because it's going to be chilly for them outside of the womb. So I got a few different types of mittens. I bought these ones, which are scratch-proof. These ones, which are more for keeping them warm. I've got a few pairs of socks. Anyway, I'm taking a lot of these with me. I actually love these. I use them in my house all the time. Having those around the room, I think would be really nice and just feel a bit more cozy. A really important one everyone's told me about is to get a water bottle with a straw. And finally, food and snacks. I've been standing up for too long now. Why don't I do the whole video on the floor? Anyway, this is the only thing I think that got me up the three peak challenge. Snowden, Scarfell and Ben Nevis in 24 hours. And that is the LucasAid Sport. I'm a really big Huel fan. It's really good. It's basically a meal in a drink. I did start off with a whole bumper pack of pom bears, but this bag's been in here for at least a week now and I keep breaking into the bags. I honestly bought so many snacks and someone has been in them. Henry. Anyway, 
I got a load of candy kittens. Same for Lotus Biscuits. This started off as a whole pack, but this is the problem. If you're organised and pack your hospital bag, there's just all these treats in the house and good old Trek bars. Hello. So Barry is awake. Um, just to add a few extra things onto that list that we ended up taking. Um, one was dressing gown. I had a really big fluffy dressing gown. I wore that a lot. Um, and the second thing, which sounds absolutely bonkers, was a duvet. Henry had the idea and I thought it was ridiculous. And we bought it in and it was just amazing because that night when you've been through giving birth, your body's worked so hard, it was the nicest thing to snuggle up in a duvet that smelt like home and just really comfy and cosy. Um, and I think that was it. Hope you enjoyed it. And good luck with your birth. Good luck with the rest of your pregnancy. I hope it runs really smoothly. And I hope that this video really helped you. So much love. Mwah.